I said to us some time two months ago, the fact that when God releases a word to us, when God gives us a word, he's not about to go, you know, looking for how to accomplish it. God gives us the word that is settled. God gives us the word that is already accomplished. And so when God releases it to us, we receive a paid check from God. I was ministering somewhere at a um, group of prayer uh, women, you know, yesterday. And I was teaching them the fact that when God gives us a word, it's like giving someone a check of two million naira to say, go cash the check. When the person gave you that check, the person gave you on the premise all things being equal, that there was that is two million naira in the in the accounts. Now, when you receive the check, even though you have not gotten the cash of two million naira, you can start to make purchases. You can start to order for things. So I can decide to order for something, you know. Uh, that will arrive in 15 days because on the basis of this work. Now, the fact that I do not have the physical evidence, I don't have the cash, but I trust the integrity of the one who issued the check, I can go to sleep. And that's the way God's word is. We need to get to the point where we trust the integrity of not, not the word, but the integrity of the one who gave us the word, that it will not renege on the image of God his obligation and so i can begin to give god praise having received a word of assurance from him that's the first step i can start to pray in the spirit because when we receive a word from god god the words that we receive always come with strategy yes i remember that's what i shared about two months ago so god gives me a word this month and gives me a strategy for war we're waging war with the prophecy spoken, be, I, 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 spoken over us. Now, it's not prophecy of God, do it, God, do it. No, because when God gave you the word, is as good as done. What happens between when you receive the word and the physical manifestation is what you call something like driving to the bank to cash the check. Is a process flow. And between that, the, the receiving of the word and the physical manifestation, there's going to be several instructions several strategies and so for every word that comes to you there is a strategy for warfare there is a strategy for warfare and this warfare is not fighting to get the word this warfare is not striving to get the accomplishment this warfare is from the place of rest and that's why we can praise in spite of the fact that we have not seen the physical manifestation I said all that to say, as you start to pray in tongues concerning the word God has given us for this month, our month of rejoicing, God will start to lead you in specific ways. God will start to instruct you on different things that he wants you to do. So right now, I want you over this word that has been released, you know, over us at the woman's glow and every word that God has given to us. Our year, it's our year of quantum leap is our month of rejoicing. Let's take time to pray in the spirit over this word. And as you pray in the spirit, you're opening yourself to hear from God. Come on now, let's just go. 10 minutes, I'm going to give us 10 minutes at the stretch. As you pray in the spirit concerning the word God has given us for this month, that it's our month of rejoicing. Go ahead right now. And I need you to pray in tongues with, you know, with focus, with focus, with focus. Try and call up every form of distraction if you can. And just focus in the spirit as you pray in tongues. And I see that as we pray in tongues today, we are opening the heavens. We are causing rain to fall. You know, I said to us as I posted the, prayer, the, the, the link for today that our cloud is full. Go ahead and let's just pray in the spirit concerning that word. And for some of you, as you pray in tongues, you are shortening the span of your waiting. 
you are shortening if you were supposed to wait for the manifestation of the word in six months as you pray in tongues you are drawing the manifestation close this is so important tonight go ahead as you pray in the spirit Come on, let's pray in the spirit over as you join. We're praying concerning the word God gave us for this month, and it's our month. Of rejoicing, right? So, 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 bread like a dash day. Oh, Kobobora Kotuva can an amen. The Kitele get a dosha. So, as you pray in the spirit, you're shortening the time of waiting, you're shortening it, you're drawing the manifestation close. And as you pray in the spirit, you're opening up yourself to hear directions, clear thoughts, direction from God. Rato Safa, like a do so, fell a man, no, a letter, the dead, 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 and you know, Pakus is super. The general word is the month of rejoicing. Yes, God can say concerning your career, this is what you should do. Still under the umbrella of that word, but concerning marriage, this is what you should do so that you can re experience rejoicing. So it's not just God as we pray, we are receiving clear cut direction. Come on now, let's pray. Ratus, the seller, eight more minutes were praying in the spirit over the word released concerning us. This month is our month of rejoicing. Lando so pale regadifa, ego so 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 broko shatala gabade, lendo kuba baba katara le bede yala bahashte, rendo suzo broko shoto boko boba kuda si de 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 la gada dada dashta, rato so 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 boba boro, elina nanambe kerako so sofra katele kedile kedosho palaga dilega dilega do suze, elo goto fraka baba andeste, in an enemy de kelege de do. Shapala Garadasta, a lever to the legal polo, God, as you join, we're praying in the spirit concerning the word given to us for this month that it is our month of rejoicing. Ranta la Gadosha, Leco Bread de Feladiga, in a Nando Sula Doshte. Elila ketela ke babaraka da da baha jata la gade brela ke doza ine ne ne de kele ke doza rakusu sovra kele gadashta apara de apara de apara de apara de kabara ke dele ke doza komo na let's pray eliga data suzo brako zoso brela ke dele ke doza and as we pray for some of you you are opening you are flinging the doors open. You're pushing down every barrier and flinging the doors open. Eshula gapara la bande lendo suzo breko suzo breke tele gedosha. I sense that we should just take time to pray in the spirit some more. Na na tele debo koso elege na 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 dasha. And as you pray, you're releasing your angels. You know we have the tongues of men and tongues of angels. As you pray, you are releasing your angels to go for and cause things to happen that will cause you to rejoice. Elando suzo frela le bekoso frela gada da da baha jeketele gada da 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 bohoshia. And as you pray, your angels are mentioning your names in places that matter. Your angels are mentioning your names in places where help is as where God has planned help for you. Your angels are mentioning your names in places where vital decisions will be made concerning you. I mean, as you pray in the spirit, every Thing that you need to experience rejoicing for this word over over us for this month to come to pass. You're setting it in place. Rela tela baha jam de ketela breka do bo 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 koro su 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 breka tela kedo usha. Let's take some more time to pray in the spirit. Ya la la banga tala di ya la baha shte le koso su brother de bo kose pia elaga tala na 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 de kelege de de kelege do isu pali ya gapara shata isu pali ya gapara shate le kedo usha ikama man de kelege de 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 four more minutes was setting things in place for rejoicing. 
Elia Talabahaste, we are sending forth our angels, a Kaba Baba. Kara tala kaba jene men kusto frele betele ile kono no shapakadia ile kina nando uso vrete leke de deisha ikala kaba baba baba ragatala kadosha God is bringing to you clear cut direction of Jesus, and let us so paliati, and let us so kele bosha, and let us so sele kida, and let us so faladashta, as you pray in the spirit, everything that will bring about rejoicing, you are setting it in place, you are pulling down barriers, rata, lege debo, rokoso frate, let the kila da dasha, let the Holy Ghost pray to you today, ikana nando sule bahati, ikana nando shele Maybe there are barriers in your past that you're not even aware of. As you pray in the spirit today, you are knocking off every barrier and you are walking through. You know, I tell you by the spirit tonight that there are different strategies that God gives to us every time that he gives us a word. Different strategies. And if we trust the precious Holy Ghost, is more interested in us getting those results than we have. I need to say that to someone again. The Holy Ghost is more interested, so God releases a word to us. But we have the precious Holy Ghost inside of us that starts to lead us. He says, you will hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way that was there. Now the voice is right inside of us. It's the precious Holy Ghost. And so when we and we see the work, please keep praying. We see the work of the Holy Ghost from the beginning. Genesis chapter one, he said, and and and, and the earth was without form and void. And the spirit of God moved over the surface of the earth. And God said, Let there be. So the Holy Ghost had to move over the surface first, preparing the ground. So that when God declares a word, it will come to pass. The Holy Ghost was in the was in, was there from the beginning, brooding, and that's the same way it is. When God speaks forth concerning you, let there be light, let there be children, let there be open doors, let there be whatever God speaks concerning you. The Holy Ghost gets into action. Your angels are activated to see to the fulfillment of that word. And the way the Holy Ghost is active is number one, it helps you to pray. I'm just going to teach that a bit. And, and I sense I sense we should pray tonight. I sense that we're pulling down some things and we're and we're erecting new things. Someone help me with the comments. You know, the, so but, but one of the ways the, the 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 so when we receive a word from God, the Holy Ghost has a part to play. Our angels have a part to play. What's the work of the Holy Ghost? What's the work of the Spirit of God? The Spirit of God starts to lead you. First of all, it prays to you. First Corinthians shows us clearly that eyes that not seen, ears that not hear, it hasn't entered into the imagination. I, I, always, I, I just love the scripture. But it says, we know, we know it has been freely given to us. We know the mind of God. And so the Holy Ghost, who knows the mind of God, communicates God's mind to us. But first of all, he helps us. So he communicates, God, this is what God is saying concerning you. This is what God is saying concerning your family. This is what God is saying concerning your business. It's time to move to another city. It's time to relocate. I think it was sometime in um, one of the places that I ministered, I started to say by the spirit that God was releasing babies. But there was also a word of um, wisdom that came forth that there's someone who had been losing a baby and God was saying to her to change her hospital. And right there in the meeting, she just sent me a private chat that yes, she's lost like four. Because what I saw in the spirit is every time she she gets in contact with a particular nurse in that hospital. The baby just, and she just sent me a private chat right there as I was, as I was um, teaching that that's very true. She's lost four, but God said to her to change her hospital. So it was a confirmation that she needed. Now, I'm sure she would have received words 
you know, before then, you're going to have your baby, you're going to have your baby. But there was a strategy, change your hospital. That was a strategy for us. So the Holy Ghost who knows the mind of God, first of all, communicates what God is doing to you. So for this month, this is our month of rejoicing. Maybe some of you also have personal words that God gave you for this month in the place of prayer. That's the work of the Holy Ghost. He communicates the word. He communicates the plan of God to you. The second thing is that he helps you to now pray in line with that plan. So every time when you keep that word before you, don't joke with words released over you for the year, for the month. They are not cliché. I mean, it's not something that you just face at the, in, at the front of your door, 2020, and you go to some doors, you know, you just have a lot, 2020, my year of, no, these are, these are, those words are bundles of miracle wrapped in. I mean, look at the word that God gave us for this month, rejoicing. That word has in it is pregnant with so many miracles. Think of anything that can make you rejoice. So God, the Holy Ghost, just like he was in the beginning, it brooded over the surface of the earth, and then God said, let there be. So the Holy Ghost communicates the mind of God to you. And then he helps you to start to pray in line with the word. That I said to you, between the release of that word and the actual fulfillment, the manifestation, there is a process. The spirit of God, such a precious person. The spirit of God starts to give you strategy as you move from one place to another. Strategies on how the victory will be won. Strategies on how you will see the physical manifestation. So the first thing that I said is that the Holy Ghost communicates the mind of God. He downloads the fire. In fact, it has the blueprint for your life. October 2020, this is what you should be doing. 5th of October, this is the person you should meet. 7th of October, this is the phone call you should make. 8th of October, 12 midnight. This is a prayer you should be praying. And that's why when the Holy Ghost starts to nudge you to pray, don't joke with it. You're running on a calendar. And so the Holy Ghost communicates the mind of God to you. The second thing, it helps you to start to pray in line with that plan. The third thing, as you pray, it starts to open you up to instruction. Clear cut direction. And guess what? You cannot be familiar with the Holy Ghost, that this is the method I used in September. Then uh, I know now, the Holy Ghost and I were pallies. We can, no, 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 no. It changes strategy. So it communicates the mind of God to you. It helps you pray in line with that as you yield yourself the tongue to the Holy Ghost. You find yourself praying in line with that word because the Holy Ghost has an assignment, not only to deliver the word, but to ensure that the word is fulfilled. So the third thing, he opens you up to instruction. Call this person. Take that test. Enroll for that exam. Submit your CV there. Relocate to another place. Start to buy this thing. Start to save. You know, it starts to lead you. starts to give you. Sometimes it says start to save. Because there's a big deal coming. So cheap. All of a sudden, someone will just say, I need to relocate. You know, I just want to put up my, my, my house for sale. And you're asking how much. He says, whatever you have. But if you were not saving, you'd be like, oh, God, whatever, for this kind of big house. So sometimes it starts to lead you. So for Amama Kususu, God knows exactly what you need. You need to trust him to deliver it for you. Sometimes we're asking God, God, I need to change my house. We need to start to think in a broad way. What you need is the house. Whether you buy the house with your money or someone gives you the house or someone relocates and you get the important thing is I need a house. We need to start to think in a broad way and just allow God to step into every area of our life. So you're thinking, I need to, I need to um, purchase something. What you need is that thing. The means with which you do get to your hands, don't worry. It can either be bought or dashed or whatever way. To so get him back to my point. I, I, I started to see in the spirit, Mrs. Ile saw me, and that was right when you joined. God says to tell you, I am opening it. I have. Open a new page in your family. 
and the next three months will be dramatic in a good way. The next, Mrs. Elisa, me to know, the next three months will wow you. Amen. The next, I, I just saw you in the spirit, and that was when you, you got in the, in the waiting room. The next three mm -hmm. months will wow you. But God says to tell you, never catch yourself complaining. Never. Never catch yourself complaining. Stay in praise only. Stay in praise. And that which I've spoken concerning you may come to pass. So the first thing, back to the, the first thing, we're going to take time to pray some more. The Holy Ghost reveals to you the mind of God. Then it starts to help you to pray in line with what he has revealed to you. The third thing is as you pray and as you take your steps every day, he's going to start to give you clear-cut direction. And I need to say to you right now, don't expect an angel. You know, you just fly across your room. No, don't expect anybody to call your name. The clear cut direction can just be, I just felt like I needed to do this. The clear cut direction can, can come from someone. So you are, you are praying, God, this is my month of rejoicing. So as we pray for the, for the second round, I need you to open your heart to pray and just allow the Holy Ghost. Because sometimes you're asking God for something, but he's not going to answer you directly. He's going to set you up in a conversation with someone. And the person will just say something carelessly. But that thing will just stick on your heart. And then you'll get a man. The words will just keep coming back. The words will just think, keep coming back. I've heard of a testimony where someone was sharing, ah, they, they, they are opening this application, oh, I've applied, oh, and someone just heard that this company is there, uh, and he put up his CV. He's the person that heard that got the job, not even the initial person. And so, as we pray, the Holy Ghost communicates the mind of God. For this month, specifically, he communicated the mind of God to us. October 2020, your month of rejoicing. So what we are doing tonight is the second level, which is allow the Holy Ghost pray through you concerning that word. So Philippians chapter 4, verse 7 to 8, please put the scripture up for me. He says that, you know, don't be in prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Make your request known to God. Specific amplified causes, make your specific definite request known to God. And so as we pray tonight, we are definite about the word. It's our month of rejoicing. So the Holy Ghost starts to pray. As you follow him, as you pray with him, it's just carrying you. And sometimes it just looks like you're prayed. I didn't get anything new. I didn't feel anything. Don't worry. You're soon receiving prayer. And God knows how to do And sometimes as you pray, you have downloaded instructions. Your mind might not pick it yet, but your spirit has downloaded instructions. Your spirit has received from God. Your spirit has downloaded instructions from God. So as, you, as we pray, we're practicing the second thing today. Taking time to pray in the spirit over that word. And as you pray, the Holy Ghost will start to give you clear-cut direction on what to do. That will yield, that will lead to that testimony. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. And as you take your steps, I mean, it's just learning to trust Him every day. As you take your steps, you're going to find yourself at the end, which is your, the receipt of that two million naira. Remember, I started giving that instance. When someone gives you two million naira that you trust, you're not going to start praying, God, as I go to the bank, in the name of Jesus. Please let this two million naira be there. God, please let the account officer pay me. No. The person who gave you the two million naira check, knowing that he has two million naira in the account. If you trust the integrity of that person, you know that even though what I have is the check, I have the cash already. And so the process of driving to the bank is where, you know, where some people are right now, they've received the word. Before the physical manifestation, there is a process. And that process involves praying in the spirit. That process involves, that's, we're driving to, to the bank, the physical cash of the check. Praying in the spirit. 
I'm just using that example so we can understand. It involves, you know, declaring confession of the word. When that situation comes to you again, hey, you think God here in the name of Jesus, thank you, Father, because I receive, I believe, and that confession of the word is there. The process, again, apart from praying in the spirit and confession of the word, is, you know, just staying in the word so that your faith never goes. You know, don't get to the point where you're saying, God, God, I pray for faith. I pray for faith. No, that's not a prayer that will be answered. Get in the word. It says faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. So as you're waiting for the physical manifestation, expose yourself to the word. It doesn't have to be a word that has to do directly with rejoicing. Just stay in the word, the word of faith. Whatever it is, get into the word. So you're praying in the spirit, you're confessing the word of God, you're, just, you're staying in the word, and you are listening for instructions. I mean, your ears are shut, just listening. Your heart, what will God say to me? I will stand my words and hear what the Lord will say to me. Listen for instructions. Listen for instructions. The Holy Ghost holds our hands every day and walks with us daily. Daily, it says, thanks be to God, who, who daily cause, who, who causes us to triumph. The Holy Ghost is about your triumphing. But every day as we trust him, it's going to take us from one level of glory to one note. And this is why the path of the just is as a shining light that shines ever brightly. The path, it keeps going from one level of glory to another. And so we're going to pray now. We'll receive the word for the month, rejoicing. For some of you, is the signing of that contract. For some of you, rejoicing will be to see the grades of your, of your exams. For some of you, rejoicing is that news that you're pregnant. For some of you, rejoicing is that change of job. For some of you, rejoicing is the accomplishment of all that God has been showing you. I mean, when you just get to the state, God, you have shown me too many things. I need to see it happen. I need to see it happen. For someone, that's what you need for rejoicing. But we have received the word. The Holy Ghost has communicated the word to us. It's time to yield to him to pray. And as he prays through us, I need you don't just leave casually. You know, be open for instruction. If God gave you the word, cross over to the other side. Some people lose their miracles. Some people don't get the physical manifestation of these words because they try, they start to rationalize how will it be? Is God going to use them? I know, is that my uncle? Once I just call him, no. God has several ways, unfathomable ways. Psalm 77 shows us, shows us clearly. It says, God made a way through the wilderness, a pathway no one knew was there. Let me read the scripture to us. It says, God made the way in the wilderness, a pathway no one knew was there. I want to look for the scripture. Yes, Psalm 77, verse 19. It says, Your pathway led through the Red Sea. Your pathway led through the sea. Your pathway through the mighty water. A pathway no one knew was there. God has amazing ways to bring to pass his word concerning you. We need to trust him. So I'm saying to you, if God's word over you is crossing to the other side, you need to get to the point where the important thing is to cross to the other side. Whether God has me to jump over or God causes an angel to push the, the wall down so that I can get to the other side. Or God tells me, walk through the world. The important thing to you is to be at the other side. We need to get to that place where we're not rationalizing. Okay, this time, how is it going to be? No. If God says to you, walk through the world, I can tell you that as you approach the world, there's going to be a miracle that will just turn it loose. Or sometimes God can cause the angel, you know, to push down the world. We need to get into prayer right now. And as you pray, I need you to open your heart. And just receive, you know, just download from heaven what God has in mind for you. Come on, can we get into praying right now for the next 15 minutes? I want us to take time to pray again concerning this word that has been released over us. Let's just take time, you know, to pray in the spirit. 
Mekobo bobo rogo do so frax se kiriya rada bakasha tala gababan demeda gedo siya. Thank you, Jesus. Sika tala gababa la gede la gedo so sofra. Ikere de 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 bu kushu kuchu braga de la gedo so sofra la gabaste. Li kata la gababa de ne nendo so so braga tis to pray la gedo sha. Ikoba bara gada namando kuzo frate la gedo se la gedo sha. Ikoba gada le begedi la gada dasta. As you pray in the spirit, remember we are praying concerning the word released over us that this is our month of rejoicing. This, this month, I mean this month, October 2020, and it's the 15th of October already. It's the 15th. Go ahead. Let's just pray in the spirit over this word. Remember the Holy Ghost stays with you all too. Come to triumph, triumph, um, come to um, triumph and um, thanks be to God who always causes us to triumph. Yes, so it starts off by giving you the word, downloading, giving you expo. This is what God is doing concerning you in this month. And then it starts to pray to you to ensure that this word comes to pass. We have gone through the first word. He's given us the word. It's time to allow it pray out through us the plan and the purpose of God. And that's where we are right now. Go ahead, let's just pray. And, and as we pray, I need you to be specific about the areas of your life where you desire rejoicing. And the mountain that you're in, so we're going to take the first five minutes to pray concerning that. And then we're going to pray concerning the various mountains that God has, that God has sent us to. Because it's not enough to just experience rejoicing. God needs us to take this joy to the various mountains that he has sent us to. But let's take the first part, just praying out the will of God, the word that God has released over us for this month. Come on now, let's pray. Brother, Abahando, Susolotokoshte. Ah, thank you, God. Lendo boso braki fala mango tu stofre la gedisha la baka da barata la di stofre la gedendosi. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Jala bakura to preke dise se la gedosha pala gadige se la dodoshle. If you're somewhere where you can pray out in the spirit, you know, just to ensure that you're connected in your heart. Rasuzo so breke te la gede ke la gedosha. You know, I think it was last week. I just, I just came to realize that God. This, this mask also has a good advantage. I mean, I pray in the spirit and nobody's wondering, is this woman okay? Because I have the mask on and I'm just talking in tongues. So I said to myself, wow, this mask has a good advantage. You know, you can pray in the spirit and no one knows what's happening because you're just talking under, under the mask, your mouth is moving. So even, even if you're someone that you know, you don't want to be seen as you've gone nuts, but you have the mask on, so go ahead. Let's just pray over over the word that God has given us for this month. Master Susola de Boshte. Let go braga pasta lege bendo kubo sufra kata la giala bahashte. Let ne dendo suzo breko stupa la gade ishatale bregida. Nenando kuzolo momongo brekida feledo kuzuzu palaga talashte. Let go braga dele evredo for costa legadija. If you're just joining, we're praying concerning the word God gave us for this month. That this is a month of rejoicing. Rato sofra, lede bekondo, liga da dashta, ele geduso, rakus de kele bokosha, lava ramande kisu sofra, tele gedusho, inanande kralo buku sofra, lede keta lago suso, pale gele dosta, le koba raga de ele vreto dodo doso, pale gia tala gadara la da bahande. Thank you for your word of our us. Manto suso breke tele gedusha, for our eyes will see the manifestation of rejoicing in every area of our lives rather than the head of sofra la bagada gendo commande ke pele kutu sofra la bahate inana shete le de 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 du sofra la ke vila bahaya ashte ke tolo rogobo li gadaga palarati stek in the letter gedasha pala gavuto ikele nenendo suzo vre ushte le gedosha i see obstacles falling off the night i see i see barriers breaking tonight ikala nanando suzo pala gedosha i see transportation tonight i mean you're just going to find yourself at the other side carried by the holy ghost sufra pala baha and then then no kusu mongo shoot the lebregade zifa aliya go to frana bahaye 
I see that God is going to be showing some of you, you know, places where things went wrong. Not to scare you, but so that you can begin to make amends and avoid those those pitfalls. You see it now. Men do so the important thing as you pray, just stay open to the Spirit of God. They cross the friend in an and God says to tell someone, I'm correcting the past mistakes. Elia Gatala Brakan and the Nendo Kulana Radash. There's someone on this call, you know, because of the ordeals you have gone through, you're, you're, you're becoming to think, oh, maybe it's the sins of the past. Maybe, maybe I deserve it actually. Really, I mean I've been very bad. Maybe I no 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 no. God that I don't so so break it like I don't shut the mercy of God has wiped it out completely. And God says to tell you, you are precious to me. I see barriers falling tonight. Elia Gatas, the prayer, like Yadosha. If you're just connecting, you know we're praying for the word over the month. The word relates to us that this is our month of rejoicing. Lato Baraket, so Frank Yatela, we are giving vent, Kadenedo Kosu, so Frank Yadosha, to that word in the spirit, Ilana Bakashata. God's word will never fail. And God says to tell some of you tonight, the instruction would sound so simple. The instruction, because you know, some of the reason, one of the reasons why people, you know, don't see the physical manifestation of the things that have been spoken over them is because they're expecting one complex instruction from God. They're expecting one, and sometimes God just says to you, rest. And you are saying, because you have been used to doing things, like, you know, you need to source it. You need to things are very good. But sometimes I used to say, say to, to us, you know, there are different strategies for season. There can be a season where God just says to you, I mean, rest, take your hands off it. It's settled. Just wait and you will see the manifestation. Just rejoice and you will see the manifestation. And so for every word, we need to stay in that place where as we pray in the spirit, we are listening for instructions. I mean, God has several, several ways that he can bring his word to pass. Several. So Tonight we're praying. Let's take six more minutes as we pray out God's plan for us, God's word over us, that this is a month of rejoicing. Estela Baharo do so freke telebe ko shala bahayata and then then do kusu super kete breko do 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 sha. God is faithful to His word. God is faithful. Lida Baha tells to pelehedo zefrekoba shaka talaga pale di alabahande. Nina mando kuzo frato uzekete kelebo kusho talabade i alabahande si. The bands are falling off tonight. A cabrado do do koso so vrakeshe telekira la da dasa kala dasa. I just saw in the spirit, you know, chains on someone's leg that just broke loose right now. I just saw that in the spirit, and you are free to make progress. And you will be amazed at the progress you I need to be specific in your career. You will be amazed at the progress that you will make in the next six months. 
it will just be like an accumulation of testimonies of promotions and the people that you have aspired with they will start to want to just go and rise and rise because what has held you down has been broken tonight in the name of jesus and you are making progress massive progress giant strides giant leaps by the anointing by the spirit of god you are making giant leaps every chain is broken it's broken now and you are making progress you are making progress nothing limits you anymore god's word concerning you will be fulfilled god's word concerning you will come to pass and i hear clearly my spirit god says i will give you double for every shame i will give you double i sense in the spirit that some of us need to be specific to god be specific and don't pity god i mean don't pity god like hey wouldn't this look like good to me i, I mean this is too much no I hear these words clearly. You are making giant strides. You are making tremendous progress. In the name of Jesus, I hear my spirit. The siege is over. The siege is over. The siege. Glory. Hallelujah. Ooh, glory hallelujah the siege is over the siege is over you can make progress you can march forward you can make progress the bands are broken you can make progress the bands are broken you can make progress the bands are broken you can move forward you can make progress and for someone i'm seeing that it's a family you know, bar that has been broken. It's a family, something that has been said, your siblings, not just you, your siblings, everyone connected to you. It's been broken tonight, and you are making progress. In the name of Jesus, I see massive financial increase for your family. Massive. And the Lord says, I'm raising people to speak on your behalf. I'm raising people to speak on your behalf where your legs cannot get you to at the moment. I am raising people to open the doors for you. I just saw in the right now you know something like an oddly open the door opening the door for someone to walk with god is saying i send people in the right places to open the doors for you to walk through you will walk through those doors that you have been knocking you will walk through gallantly you will walk through those doors okay. and you will walk through with royal treatment in the name of Jesus, come on now, one more minute, we are praying. We are waiting, we are concerning the word given to us that October 2020 is our month of, of rejoicing. We are waiting. Before this for your into food business. And God is saying, uh, is breathing upon the food business that there's going to be a sweet aroma from your food going forward. There's going to be a sweet fragrance from your meals going forward. And you know, it's just going to draw people, draw people, and you're going to have a, a massive increase of, of, um, of client base, you're going to have a massive increase. Lato sobre le bege bando si kila bahaya tala bahane le gedo si le do vri isto palegia atala gabane ne 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 lo gedo si ya. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. God says to tell you, tell my children, they are making giant strides. They are making progress. They are making progress in line with my will for their lives. They are making progress. 
Thank you, God. We are making progress in line with the will of God. We are making progress. I'm seeing again this door that has been opened. Mighty door. Mighty door. The door that you have knocked before now, they are open. The door that you have knocked before now, they are open. Come on, let's take the next four minutes to pray for we God sending the mountains. God has sent you to. The doors are open. The voice will be heard on that mountain. You're going to be specific. Concerning the mountains that, that you have called me onto, the mountain of religion, the mountain of family, the mountain of media, the mountain of education. Oh, thank you, Jesus. The mountain of business. Thank you. Doors are opening. Doors have been opened. Doors have been opened. I step into palaces. Oh, thank you. I hear my spirit. Divine announcements. Oh, glory to God. Divine announcements. Ratos Rapale Gede. Ila Grosha. Valia Nabakatele Bohondi Asia. Divine announcement. Thank you, God. Divine announcement. God is announcing you on that mountain of influence. God is amplifying your voice on that mountain of influence. Let us so so You're not one in the crowd, but the Kisa Sala Badi Yakutu so Felagesta. God is amplifying your voice. Come on now. Let us a lebreke dusha ilaba tile leboko so belele de doshia. God is setting you on platform. Thank you, Jesus. I see two people in women ministry. I'm seeing international women conference. And your name written in front of it, convener. And God says that I have given you the team to work with. Your call came in complete package. That's what the Spirit of God is saying. The Spirit of God is saying to those two women called uh, to the women ministry is saying to you the, you know, the call on your life came in full package came with the team came with the finance came with the instruction came with the strategy and as you take the next two days to wait on me says the spirit of god you will download all that you need you will download all the for the next level killer who says Levi ita selie be entu sepa li koba alaraga de zipra andi legedo shela bakadasta. Thank you, God. Let us so pale regade. Ayado koba zipra kuba li agatala baha de kezise elede deshte li kombo godo pali kabale isapali isapali kalabakato zepele gedo riala bahashte. Oh, we bless you, God. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I hear my spirit, someone singing this song for you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. Maybe, you know, you, you all can join as we say this song. Sing the song. There is no one else like you. And this will be your testimony. This will be your report. You are great. You do miracles so great. Oh, there is no one else like you. There is no one else. This will be your song. You are great. You do miracles so great. I have seen someone in the spirit, the testimony that is coming. All you can do is to fall on your face, singing this song. There is no one else like you. Ah, so you want to practice it ahead. There is no one else. You are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. 
Jesus, there is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. Oh, for you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. Come on now, join the song. Practice ahead. There is no one else like you. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. Father, we give you praise. Oh, the miracles that God will do for you, that God will do through you on your mountain will amaze you yourself. Yeah, will amaze you, will amaze people. Will amaze you, will amaze people. The miracles God will do for you and through you on your mountain of influence will amaze you. Will amaze you and will amaze people. Oh, so And I and I hear the Lord saying, I'm amplifying your voice. So, you know, in this place, God is amplifying your voice. God is amplifying all of the color. Da, 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 da. Thank you. I just I just saw written in the spirit, sought after. Woo! I just saw it written in the spirit, sought after. I mean, people will start looking for you. I'm seeing two people. You are early. Mm. Mm. Oh, sought after. I'm seeing two people. You're into fashion line i mean you see you saw dresses can you put your hands up i'm hearing sought after you're in the fashion line you're into dresses designs sought after. i just keep hearing that word sought after or somebody doing sought after yes we're sought after yes sought after i mean people will start to look for your designs you will just make, what I'm seeing is God amplifying people's efforts. I mean, you're just going to do your regular thing. You're just nothing. You're just going to do your regular thing. But people will see the design and say, wow, you made this. And you're wondering, this is not even one of my best styles. But God is breathing. And what God is saying to you, be intentional in this season, before you design things. I know you people usually sketch before you... You usually sketch before you pull it out. 